Hello and welcome to another update video about SUI. On the SUI chart, we're still caught in this correction. So crypto market is today again moving down. The altcoins, as you know, they are suffering. Um, Bitcoin dominance is still going up. So naturally, the altcoins are suffering a little bit more as Bitcoin is going down. And, um, you know, SUI is currently working through this correction. I told you yesterday that it's likely not finished yet, this correction. Um, we have the white count and the yellow count. The clear pivot between them is at $1.70. And at the moment, yeah, I mean, the bulls need to turn up now or it's going to be difficult for for SUI. Um, price has now reached the 161.8 Fibonacci extension, which is one of the, let's say, micro support levels I mentioned in the last update. That's the, yeah, the 161.8 extension is a key target for the internal C wave. You see, there has been a, a small reaction, but not enough yet to say that this correction is complete. I'd say I'd be surprised if SUI starts to move up without Bitcoin moving up. Um, so just note there is a bit more space all the way down to $1.70 if it needs it in this correction. Below $1.70, the probabilities shift clearly towards the yellow count. At the moment, the trend is down anyway, so both white and yellow move in the same direction. Whereas white, the white count in this wave two pullback, which is a corrective pullback after a possible upside impulse. Well, this is now really at the point where um, we're close to an invalidation point, which is down here, which is the October low. And the, one second, yeah, it's the October low at around 159, 160. So that's the invalidation point. $1.70, which is a 78.6 retracement, is not invalidation. But if that level breaks, it's a warning. It's a warning that likely there will be invalidation. But again, there is no formal invalidation until the price really breaks below 160. Nevertheless, probabilities will start to shift towards the yellow more bearish count, short term bearish at least, should there be a sustained break below $1.70. Um, at the moment, what I would like to see, I mean, I'd like to see minimally a rally outside to the upside out of the support zone to indicate that the white wave two is finished. That would be a break above $1.91. Yeah, this last swing high and then the box um, followed by a move above the $2.11 level, which is the last swing high here from the 1st of November. These would be signals that the wave two correction is complete especially a break above that 211 level because that would invalidate the direct pathway to the downside as per the yellow scenario. Now, if the price breaks below 170, what can we expect? The focus would shift towards this pivot, this main support area located between 152 and 132. The $1.32 level is the 50% retracement of the rally that started. Let me just zoom out a bit. That started here in September and finished in October. Um, it is the 50% retracement and that's key support. That's the impulsive support. If the price breaks below that level, especially if it sustains there, but already a break is normally enough, it would indicate that there's a lot of weakness and that we're not dealing with an impulse anymore to the upside. And if we're not dealing with an impulse, we can't really trust that structure anymore at all. And it means the structure changes. Okay, at the moment I'm considering this move down some kind of a way four. But below that level, it's going to be difficult to uphold that thesis. So that's um, that's been the key level to watch. So far, the pullback is in three waves. Once we have a five wave move down, it's at least the C wave in, in yellow. Um, and then we just need to see if the price can. It, what really matters is, you know, can the bulls actually turn up before the price breaks below 132? I keep you updated about that. Um, hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Today in the membership live stream at 5 p.m. UTC, we're gonna talk about the US election results and how they could impact crypto. If you're interested in that, feel free to check out the membership. If you join late, you can still watch the recording. Hope you liked the update. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.